What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do two different bubble head effects inside Resolve 16 with no plugins required. Let's get into it. Hey, if you guys are new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I love helping you guys grow as creators. I bring out weekly videos. So if you have not already, click that subscribe button and tag along. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this animated head on top of a person. It's a really quirky and weird effect, but it's kind of a fun one. So I figured you guys would enjoy it. So let's hop inside Resolve 16 and we'll go from there. So the first one is just this dude checking his phone and his head bloop, bubbles up real fast. It's a real easy one. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that real quick. So I'm gonna delete the top layer and I've got the original underneath and nothing has been done to it. It's just a very simple stock clip of this guy just checking his phone. I'm gonna hold option on a Mac and drag up and copy it and let it go. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna to go to the color page and inside the color page, we're gonna make sure our node is selected. We're gonna right click underneath it and add alpha output. We're gonna connect the blue to the blue making sure we are at the very beginning of this video clip right here. We're gonna to go to the window tab. We're gonna select that. We're gonna click this one where it's our free cursor. And we are just gonna start drawing around his face. But ideally you would definitely wanna take your time to get the best result out as possible. After everything is cut out and you're happy with it, we're gonna to go to the tracker. We're gonna make sure we're at the very beginning again because that's where we outline his head. We're gonna make sure everything's set up, track, good to go. We're gonna hit play and let Resolve do its magic and hopefully it tracked everything beautifully. Then we're gonna jump back inside the edit tab and in here we're gonna click on the top video clip and under the inspector, transform and zoom, we're gonna zoom it up just to see how everything, make sure everything looks good. I'm pretty happy with that. We're gonna hit Command Z just to get it set back to the beginning. We're gonna go ahead and add a keyframe under zoom and position with it just set normal. We're gonna go over one, two, three, four frames should be good. And we're gonna zoom it up pretty good size. I think that's pretty funny. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. The only thing that's bothering me is I think it needs to be a little bit softer around the edges. So we're gonna go back in here. We're gonna go under the window that we selected around his face. And we're gonna bump the inside softness a little bit. And we're gonna bump the softness maybe 0.30. Just jump back over into the edit tab, watch that through. And I think that softened the face up just a little bit more around the edges, just to make it a little bit more realistic for however realistic this effect can be. So the second method, I'm gonna show you how to do it with like an emoji or an anmoji or however they say it on iPhone, I'm not really sure. I just took a screen recording of me talking to my phone or just being weird. Um, I got some really weird faces out of it. Not gonna lie, it freaks out when you try to wink at it. This one is a little bit different and a little bit more complicated, but it is a completely different effect. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna find a video clip that I like. I think that's pretty good. I don't need nothing too crazy long. We'll just drag that down in here. Then I'm gonna hop inside Fusion. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my video. I'm gonna drag it in. I'm gonna right click on it. And we're gonna go ahead and rename this. We're just gonna put Big Head. We're gonna hit shift spacebar and we're gonna look for a chroma keyer. We're gonna add that. We're gonna hit shift spacebar one more time. We're also gonna look for a transform. Hit enter and add that. We're gonna keep this selected, move it out of the way just for a minute. We're gonna click on our video clip. We're gonna hit shift spacebar and we're gonna look for a planar tracker. I'm gonna add that. With the tracker selected, we're gonna go up here to track, make sure that's selected. On the tracker, instead of point, we're gonna to go to the hybrid point area. We're gonna do just translate. I'm not gonna to get too crazy with it yet again. Make sure I'm at the beginning frame. I am going to start drawing around his face. It doesn't have to be perfect, and I kind of prefer to keep it right inside the face. I kind of find it makes it a little bit of a better track in the cases I've used. After everything is done, we're gonna hit set on a reference time. We're gonna make sure everything's good and we're gonna hit go ahead and track. Let Resolve do its magic. If everything works good, your track should be all inside the face. And it looks like it did a pretty good job. The next thing we're gonna do is clicking on the planar tracker, we are gonna add a planar transform. Just grabbing this and setting it over here to the side, just forgetting about it. I'm gonna unlink both of these, move this also over here, and I am going to reconnect these. 
I'm gonna hit shift spacebar one more time and I'm gonna look for a merge. We're gonna add that. Hold shift and the mouse at the same time, drop it in. I'm gonna grab these, bring it over here and I'm gonna attach the transform to the merge, making sure the media out is set to two so we can see everything and we can. We're gonna click on the chroma key here and we are gonna make sure we're on the first tab. We're gonna click color range to bring this down and I'm gonna mess with the luminance a bit. I think right there should be pretty good. I'm gonna soft range it, not too much because I start to lose stuff. I think that's pretty good. Then we're gonna move our big head node over. We're gonna take this transform node that we made earlier from the planar tracker. We're gonna hold it, shift at the same time, drop it in between there, and we're gonna make sure that it tracked everything. Then I'm gonna click on the transform node, make sure I'm at the first frame. I'm gonna size this mug up quite a bit. I'm gonna move it over. That's pretty good. Move them up just a little bit. Make sure to keep that X in the middle. I think that looks pretty good. Watch it through, make sure everything is tracked. And yeah, I think that looks pretty freaking hilarious. But that's how you do two different bobblehead effects inside Resolve 16. I think it's hilarious. If you guys do this, tag me on Instagram and Twitter. I would love to see it. I would love to check it out. This stuff cracks me up. But that's it for today, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Drop a comment below. If you've got some new video ideas coming out, things you wanna learn inside Resolve 16, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I'm out. Thank you.